use GitHub here to help us with our version control and going back and forth with um, with projects. And so, assuming you're using NetBeans uh, for your projects and you've created a, a new Java project, so this one is just called test. It doesn't really have anything in it uh, except for one uh, test file here. Uh, and so, I need to um, do a couple things. I need to set up a, a Git repository, basically a folder uh, within the project locally on my on my disk. Uh, the way that I do that is I go to team, git, initialize repository. Uh, it's going to prompt me for the, the path where my project is saved, and so that's fine. Um, if we were to take a look at where that was, so uh, right now we are in AP Computer Science, NetBeans projects. Here's test down here. You can see there's nothing in there's a NetBeans project in the source folder. Um, so if we do that in there, it's going to initialize it down here at the bottom. And if we go back up, we can see it's created this um, this Git folder. That's where it's going to store stuff. So that's the first thing. Um, and you can see that now this is picked up. It's in green uh, because it's been added. It hasn't been committed to. I have to uh, commit to my changes. So let's say that I I like my my uh, file here and I right click it. Uh, and I can go git and I can commit do it like that uh, I could also go back to team and click on commit uh, whenever I commit to it it's going to ask me what files I want to commit to I could do multiple I could do for the whole project um, and I just hit commit that's what I like and it's going to store that in that local um, that local folder that we just created now to actually get it into cloud, get into GitHub, I need to have a GitHub account. So I open up uh, the internet, I go to GitHub, I'm, I'm signed in, you have to create an account, I assume you can do that on your own. And I need to add a repository. So I create a repository. Uh, I'm going to call this test, and this should be deleted. All right. um, and then I'm going to make it public, um, and we can just click create. What's going to give me is going to give me this uh, this U this uh, URL here. I'm going to copy that. That's what I'm going to need to do to uh, put into the IDE. And then if I go back to um, to NetBeans, I'm going to go back to Team, and I want to go to Remote, and I want to push uh, this to the web, basically. And so I hit Push, and you can see it's given me um, if I have a repository location where I specify. This is um, what I want to look for, so I need to um, I need to put in here my my uh, URL that I just grabbed, and I need to um, put in my password and my username. And I should just be able to hit next, and it should connect. And that's the master branch that I've created. I'm going to hit next, and it's going to finish, and it should push that. You can see down at the bottom here, it was pushing test to the web. Okay, so it should be it should be in the cloud, it should be on GitHub. If I if I go back to the browser and go to the repository that I've created, here is test, and we can see here is my source code. Uh, so it's been pushed up there two minutes ago, uh, and if I expand that, there's test, and it's got one Java file, and that's what we saw there. And so you can uh, from here. You can you can change things on different computers and then push it and overwrite and keep track of your version control as you go through it. You can also grab stuff that's up there. Uh, so let's say we're looking in chapter one, you can find the source code for um, everything in the book, all that stuff. In terms of getting it uh, remotely, that's it. Good luck.